Okay, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to look at an example of using the law of sines. And so here's the given information. We're told that angle A and B, so angle A is 38.2 degrees, B is 63.4 degrees, and side C is 42 centimeters. So off to the right here we have a triangle, uh, just so that we can label the information. And we notice that we have the case angle, side angle. Uh, so two angles and a side in between the two angles. Um, and we're asked to find all the missing parts, so we need to find angle C, side A, side B. All right. So we can see here that finding the easiest thing to do is find angle C because we already know two angles. So if we look down here at my calculator, um, 63.4 plus 38.2, we hit enter, 101.6, so then we take 180, and then we're going to subtract off the answer here. And we find out that angle C is 78.4 degrees. So let's label that. 78.4 degrees. And so at least that part's done. So that's good. So 78.4 degrees. All right. Next, we need to find side A and side B. Okay. So now. Um, let's see. So it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and find, I guess, side A. So I'm going to use this version of a law of sines. Whenever I'm finding a missing side, I like to use um, this version where I have um, side A over, let's say, sine A equals. Uh, and then I'm trying to look for, I, I need to do something that I'm given, so I need to at least use side C. So I'm going to use side C over the sine of angle C. All right. Now replace the information, and so we don't know A, and then we have the sine of uh, side angle A, which is 38.2 degrees, equals C, which is 42. Divide that by the sine of 78. Point four degrees. All right. So that tells me that A is equal to 42 uh, times the sine of 38.2 degrees divided by the sine of 78.4 degrees. Okay, and so we punch it into the calculator. And we find that A is approximately to one place here, uh, 26.5. So 26.5 centimeters. Okay, so that's a little A, that's side A. Okay, so now let's find side B. So now we're going to use B over sine B equals, uh, once again, just use the side that we're started we were given. It's always better to use an exact number that versus a rounded number in an answer because um, that way your, your calculation is somewhat more accurate. Okay, and so we see that B then is going to be equal to side C which is 42 times the sine of B. B was 63. B was 63. 3.4 degrees, and we're going to divide that by the sine of 78.4, and we find that B is approximately 38.3. Uh, Okay, so that's an example of um, solving for all missing parts using the law of signs.